Alright, what's going on guys? Dirty30 here and I got some good news guys. The Division Patch 1.0.2 will be released tomorrow, March 22nd, 2016 guys. I... Pretty exciting because exciting. people have been waiting for a new patch to come out. Because yes. they patch a game like the first day I think. They patch some things the first day. But this is a really big patch guys and this is something we really needed. And they're fixing a bunch of stuff, they're fixing the gameplay, they're fixing the dark zone, and I think they're fixing graphics, UI, audio, localization, PC fixes, uh, PlayStation 4, Xbox, they have a little thing, and the PC, obviously, but they're fixing a bunch of stuff. I'm not going to go over it. There's going to be a link down in the description to read this stuff all for yourself. But I'm just going to talk about some of the things, and it's all going to happen tonight around, I think, I forget when it is, but I think it's Tuesday, 9 a.m. CET time, 8 a.m. UTC time, 4 a.m. EDT time, 1 a.m. PDT time. And uh, it's going to be three hours, guys. It's going to be down for three hours. The servers are going to be down, but it's it's much needed. You guys should take a break from the game. But this is a much needed patch. Um, I'm going to name a couple things that's going to be going on in the patch. Named enemies will now drop better loot and challenge mode than in hard mode. Added cooldown period for the static turret. Stun attack in order to avoid stun lock in PvP, PvE game modes. Named NPCs will no longer respawn after being killed in open world. This will prevent situations where players were able to kill a same named NPC over and over again. Modifications to weapon talent trained. And it talks about that. It talks about the modification to your, uh, when your backpacks, how you have talents on them. Fixed speed, run, exploit for the rooftop, common relay mission. They're fixing exploits with missions. This is just in the gameplay itself, the section of the gameplay, the link's down below. This is just some stuff, and then in the dark zone, uh, the players can now heal other neutral players in the dark zone by using first aid and support station. So now, even if they're not on your team, you should be able to heal them. Uh, players are now able to fast travel to the dark zone checkpoints, but you have to be outside into the story mode to do that, not inside the dark zone. You cannot do that. Uh, the dark zone disconnected timer has been increased to 30 seconds, meaning players will remain in the game world longer when logging out while in the dark zone. This applies while not in combat. This is all dark zone stuff, guys. This is something we really needed. Items extracted from the dark zone are now properly marked as new items when moved to the player's inventory. That's pretty cool. Players killed in the dark zone now drop ammo, medkits, and grenades. This loot is generated and not taken from the dying player's inventory. So you don't lose it from your inventory, but... The game generates it for you, so when you die, when you kill a person, like a real person in uh, PvP, they drop all that stuff now. Players killed in the Dark Zone will lose less Dark Zone funds and experience, rogue and non-rogue. So that's fucking awesome. We've been experiencing that all week, how people fucking just kill you. You fucking lose so much XP, but after tomorrow, after tonight, it's going to be awesome. After tonight, the Dark Zone's going to be sick. Dark Zone funds and experience, re re experience rewards were... Four surviving rogue statuses have been improved. Dark Zone funds and experience rewards for killing rogue agents have been improved. Phoenix credits drop have been increased on level 31 and 32 enemies in the Dark Zone. Level 30, 1 through 3 Phoenix credits. Level 31s, 2 through 4 Phoenix credits. Level 32, 3 through 5 Phoenix credits. So that's pretty good. Increased drop rate of high-end items from level 31 and 32 named NPCs in the Dark Zone. Dude, the Dark Zone is getting a little better, and they're probably going to fix it still. Increased drop rate and high-end division tech material from level 32 named NPCs in the Dark Zone. Improved Dark Zone chest items quality. Rank 30 chests will now drop superior purple items instead of specialized blue. That's better. More purples, at least. Key chests now and have a chance to drop keys chests now have a chance to drop high-end gold items guys high-end gold items now when you get the uh, dark zone keys you go to the things you should get more likely get high-end because that's what the dark zone is it wants you to be better at the game dark zone funds drop rates and quantity on npcs has been reduced <sighs> what else is there fix this is all dark zone this is something i'm talking about hopefully i get under five minutes fix a bug where the wildfire and fear tactic town talents were affecting neutral players in the dark zone fix Fixed instances where players would receive a Delta error message when entering the Dark Zone. Fixed a bug where sometimes players could not loot anything after returning to the game following a network dis disconnection. Fixed Stage 1 Rogue Timers not displaying correctly when Rogue players receive damage from another player. Thanks guys! You want some more? There's a whole bunch of other things. There's graphics, UI, and all the other crap that I mentioned in the beginning. Thanks for watching!
thanks for watching the video, guys. Like, it's awesome. I got 53 subscribers. I appreciate every one of you guys. And hit the like button. Share the video. I will never tell you guys to like a video in the beginning because I want you to watch the whole video. I want you to support me. I love you guys. This is awesome. The freaking D, the DZ, the Dark Zone is getting better, guys. Patch 1.0.2. Out tomorrow, guys. March two thousand, March two thousand sixteen. Peace, guys. Thirty thirty. Out.